we continue our chapter 6 data descriptions so for today we also want to learn how to measure of location and then how to measure of dispersion but for this time we will look at for the group data for this group data we will also will learn how to find the mean mode median percentile and then the quartile to find the mean for the group data is x bar equals to summation of fx. This x is for the class mark and then divide by the summation of f. The summation of f in denominator is the total number of frequency. Now for the mode as we know mode is the highest frequency so to find the mode in the group data we have to follow this formula so mode equals to l is the lower boundary of the model class plus d1 so d1 is the difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the class immediately before it but for d2 so, D2 is the difference between the frequency of the model class and then frequency of the class immediately after it. And then, must be multiplied with C. So, the C is the size class of the model class. When we want to find the median for the group data, so we have to look at, at this note first the median of a frequency distribution cannot be count like the ungrouped data because the data has been grouped in the form of classes so to find the median for the group data we have to use this formula to find the median so equals to lk so the lk is the lower boundary of the median class plus with the n so n is our total frequency minus with fk1 this capital f is different with the small f this capital f referring to cumulative frequency but the small f will referring to frequency so and then multiply with the c c is the size of the median class same as before, the quartiles will divide a set of data into four equal parts, but the percentile will divide a set of data into 100 equal parts. So, what we can see at the lower part here, the lower quartile or the first quartile is equal to Q1 or equals to 25 percentile. And then the upper quartile, as we know the upper quartile is Q3. So Q3 is equal to the 75 percentile. And then Q2, so Q2 is the median. So it is also equal to P50. For this group data, when we want to find the value for quartiles and the percentile, we will use this formula. So this Two formula is quite same but the difference is here when we want to find the quartile so the yellow part that I have highlight this one so the formula will become k over 4 times n because we want to find the quartile if we want to find the percentile it will become k over 100 times n because the percentile will divide the set of data into hundreds. And then the rest will same. Uh, this one is lower boundary of the QK class. And then minus with the cumulative frequency before the class. Divide by the frequency at the class and then multiply with the class size. Now we will go to example 1, find the mean, mode and median. This is group data, so look at, at the class given. So the class given is the class boundary because the upper limit of the 
first class is equals to lower limit for the second class. And then the second column is frequency. So we can denote as the small letter of f as this is only the frequency. If the if the question gives us the cumulative frequency, so we always denote the cumulative frequency as capital F. Now we want to find the mean. So for the group data, when we try to solve, we need to transfer our information needed in a table. So the first column is class. So make sure our class must be in the class boundary. So the upper limit for the first class must be equal to the lower limit in the second class. And then second column is class mark. Third column is frequency. So we denote as F, a small letter of F. And then we need to find the Fx. F multiply with the x, x is the class mark. So now we want to find the class mark. So how to find the class mark is upper limit plus with the lower limit at the same class and then divide by 2. So here 10 plus with 0 divide by 2 so equals to 5. Next is 20 plus with 10 divide by 2. So this is equal to 15. Upper limit plus with lower limit at the same class then divide by 2. So this one is 25. Next is 40 plus with 30 and then divide with 2, 35. This one is 50 plus 40 and then divide by 2. So 45. Then we want to find the fx. So every each of x must be multiplied with f. So here we will get 10, 255, 650, 350, and then 225. So the last row we have to find the summation of f. This summation of f is equal to 60. Just total up all the values in the same column. So here we will get summation of fx equals to 1490. Now we want to find the mean. So mean is the summation of fx divided by summation of f. So our x bar, the mean is 1490 divided by 60, so equals to 24.83. Now we want to find the mode. So the first thing we have to determine which class is the model class. So look at the column of frequency. So column of frequency, the highest frequency is 26. So, 20 to 30 is the model class. Okay, so now we go to the formula for the mode. So, here mode is equals to L plus D1 over D1 plus D2 times with C. So, L here is lower boundary of the model class. So, the lower boundary for our model class is L equals to 20. This is lower boundary for the model class 20. And then we determine for the value of D1. So, D1 is the difference between the frequency of the model class. So, the frequency of the model class is 26 with the class immediately before it. So, 26 minus with 17. But the D2 is the difference of the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the 
immediately class after 8. So, this D2 is the 26 minus 10. Now, the CC is the class size. So, to find the class size, 30 minus with 20 equals to 10. Now, we just put all the values into the formula to find the mode. So, our mode equals to 20 plus D1 26 minus 17 equals to 9. So 9 over here is 9 plus 26 minus 10 is 16. So 16 and then multiply with 10. So calculate therefore our mode is 23.6. Now we want to find the median. To make more easier to find the median, we have to add one column for cumulative frequency. So this is F. We try to find the cumulative frequency. So to find the cumulative frequency, this one 2. So here is also 2. And then 2 plus with 17 equals to 19. Next is 19 plus with 26. So this one is 45. Next is 45 plus with 10. So here is 55. The last one 55 plus with 5. So here is 60. The last line must be equals to the summation of F because the capital F is our cumulative frequency. Okay, so to find the median, first we have to calculate the R observation. So to find the R observation, 60 must be divided with 2 and then we get the 30th observation. So 30th observation, we now we have to determine which class is the median class. <clears throat> so the 30th observation referring to the cumulative frequency. So the 30th observation include into this class. So highlight for this class. <clears throat> now the median class for this question is 20 to 30. Okay, so now we try to list out all the values we are need to put into the formula so the lk lower boundary for the class for the median class is equals to 20 this one is the lower boundary for the median class and then this one is cumulative frequency before the median class so, cumulative frequency before the median class. So, this is the median class. So, before the median class is equals to 19. And then, this one is frequency at the median class. So, frequency at the median class is equals to 26. And then, the class size. Upper limit minus with upper boundary minus with lower boundary for the same class. So, 30 minus 20 equals to 10. Okay, so now we want to find the median. Just substitute all the values inside the formula. So, median equals to 20 plus. So, our N is total number of frequency 16. 60 minus 2 minus with 19 divided by 26 and then times with 10. So the median is equals to 24.23.